các bạn có thể thấy đây là gói pin PCP Đây là gói pin 2CMP pin Đây là gói pin UDP Router Gói pin pin of death Router switch For the first time in history, lần đầu tiên trong lịch sử, con người và máy móc làm việc cùng nhau để cùng thực hiện một mục đích. Đây là một sự kết hợp mà không có giới hạn vật lý, không có sự phân biệt chủng tộc, giới tính, cũng như màu da. Một lĩnh vực thông tin mới mà thực sự đem con người lại gần nhau hơn. Đó là bình minh của mạng máy tính. Want to know how it works? Bạn muốn biết nó hoạt động như thế nào không? Hãy click vào đây để bắt đầu cuộc hành trình vào mạng máy tính. Now exactly what happened when you clicked on that link? Khi click vào đường link trên, thì đã đã bắt đầu một cuộc trao đổi thông tin. Information travels down into your personal mailroom, where Mr. IP packages it, leaves it, and sends it on its way. Nơi mà Mr. IP đóng gói, dán nhãn và gửi nó đi. Each packet is limited in its size. Mỗi gói tin đều bị giới hạn về kích thước. Vì vậy mà hộp mail của bạn sẽ quyết định xem chia thông tin như thế nào và đóng gói nó ra sao. Containing important information. Gói tin IP cần một cái nhãn trong đó có những thông tin quan trọng như địa chỉ gửi gửi, địa chỉ gửi nhận và kiểu gói tin. Because this particular packet is going out onto the internet, it also gets an address for the proxy server, which has a special function, as we'll see later. The packet is now launched onto your local area network or LAN. This network is used to connect all the local computers, routers, printers, etc. for information exchange within the physical walls of the building. The LAN is a pretty uncontrolled place, and unfortunately, accidents can happen. The highway of the LAN is packed with all types of information. These are IP packets, no mail packets, Apple Talk packets. They're against traffic as usual. The local router reads the address and if necessary, lifts the packet onto another network. Ah, the router, a symbol of control in a seemingly disorganized world. There he is. Router hoạt động một cách nguyên tắc, bất chấp bài bản, bảo thủ và đôi khi không thật sự nhanh nhẹn. Nhưng xét cho cùng thì router hoạt động hết sức chính xác. As the packets leave the router, they make their way into the core and head for the router switch. A bit more efficient than the router switch, they connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. They connect their own router switch to the router switch. As packets arrive at their destination, they're picked up by the network interface, ready to be sent to the next level. In this case, the proxy. In this case, the proxy is used by many companies as sort of a middleman in order to lessen the load on their internet connection and for security reasons as well. Ngoài ra còn vì một lý do an ninh nữa, ta có thể thấy các gói tin khác nhau về kích cỡ tùy thuộc vào nội dung của nó.
The proxy opens the packet and looks for the web address or URL. Depending upon whether the address is acceptable, the packet is sent on to the internet. There are, however, some addresses which do not meet with the approval of the proxy, that is to say corporate or management guidelines. These are summarily dealt with. We'll have none of that. For those who make it, it's on the road. Next up, the firewall. The corporate firewall serves two purposes. It prevents some rather nasty things from the internet from coming into the intranet. And it can also prevent sensitive corporate information from being sent out onto the internet. Once through the firewall, a router picks up the packet and places it onto a much narrower road or bandwidth, as we say. Obviously, the road is not broad enough to take them all. Now you might wonder what happens to all those packets which don't make it along the way. Well, when Mr. IP doesn't receive an acknowledgement that a packet has been received in due time, he simply sends a replacement packet. We are now ready to enter the world of the Internet. A spider web of interconnected networks which span our entire globe. Here, routers and switches establish links between networks. Now the net is an entirely different environment than you'll find within the protected walls of your lab. Out here, it's the wild west. Plenty of space, plenty of opportunities, plenty of things to explore and places to go. Thanks to very little control and regulation, new ideas find fertile soil to push the envelope of their possibilities. But because of this freedom, certain dangers also lurk. You'll never know when you'll meet the dreaded pain of death. A special version of a normal request ping, which some idiot thought up to mess up unsuspecting hosts. The path our packets take may be via satellite, telephone lines, wireless, or even transoceanic cable. They don't always take the fastest or shortest routes possible, but they will get there, eventually. Maybe that's why it's sometimes called the World Wide Wait. But when everything is working smoothly, you can circumvent the globe five times over at the drop of a hat, literally, and all for the cost of a local call or less. Near the end of our destination, we'll find another firewall. Depending upon your perspective as a data packet, the firewall could be a bastion of security or a dreaded adversary. It all depends on which side you're on and what your intentions are. The firewall is designed to let in only those packets that meet its criteria. This firewall is operating on ports 80 and 25. All attempts to enter through other ports are closed for business. Port 25 is used for mail packets. While port 80 is the entrance for packets from the internet to the web server. Inside the firewall, packets are screened more thoroughly. Some packets make it easily through customs, while others look just a bit dubious. Now, the firewall officer is not easily fooled, such as when this ping of death packet tries to disguise itself as a normal ping packet. For those packets lucky enough to make it this far, the journey is almost over. It's just a line up on the interface to be taken up into the web server. 
Nowadays, a web server can run on many things, from a mainframe to a webcam to the computer on your desk. Why not your refrigerator? With a proper setup, you can find out if you have the makings for chicken cacciatore or if you have to go shopping. Remember, this is the dawn of the net. Almost anything is possible. One by one, the packets are received, opened, and unpacked. The information they contain, that is, your request for information, is sent on to the web server application. The packet itself is recycled ready to be used again and filled with your requested information. Addressed and sent out on its way back to you. Back past the firewall, routers, and on through to the internet. Back through your corporate firewall, and on to your interface, ready to supply your web browser with the information you requested. That is, this film. Pleased with their efforts and trusting in a better world, our trusty data packets ride off blissfully into the sunset of another day, knowing fully they have served their masters well. Now isn't that a happy ending?